Welcome to Homerati. As you can tell, this is our Christmas episode. That is not inclusive. <laughs> wow, that was like racist. Holiday yeah. episode, whatever you <laughs> We know it's a Christmas episode. Yeah, it's a Christmas You're episode. awful, Gingerbread. It's, Where is this from? Well, it's we amazing. didn't get the memo on that. But. I stole this from a friend. Did you? A couple years ago. As he threw Because I thought it garbage? was so good. I was like, I And he would never this. notice you wearing it. I wore this for the show two years ago for our Christmas show? I think show? we did it two years yeah. ago, yeah. How was that even a shirt that fit our friend? Like, that is humongous. It's a vest. It it's a vest. It's Girl, Who is this, our friend? It's Michael. Oh. It's Kyle Murphy. <laughs> They're the same person. That's disgusting. Yeah. So, Christmas, what are you doing? Um, nothing. I just go to my parents' house on Christmas for two days. Like, I go on Christmas Eve and then stay there for the night. And then Christmas Day, we pig out at two. I eat five times that day. <laughs> like, it's all timed perfectly. And the best and the size makes, makes sense. sense. <laughs> build into it. It's yeah, so, I'm, so I'm at my parents' house. And then, like, at night, I'll go to my godmother's house and eat there, like, twice. And then after that, my roommate and I will go see a movie. On Christmas night. Just anything specific? A Christmas or? themed movie? Or no, no, just whatever's out. Like something that's. Star Wars, you're gonna go see? No, I'm not gonna go see Star Wars, but we'll talk about that later. Okay, fine. Well, I'm going to Terrace, um, and we do our Christmas on Christmas Eve. That's our main thing. Yeah. So we used to go to church at midnight and then come back, and we don't really do that anymore. I used, but, to, do, yeah. I used to do the midnight mass, but you know how exhausting that is? Yes, and I know. It's I'm like so busy, and then by the time it's done, it's like 2 o'clock in the morning, and all you want to do is eat cold cuts yeah. and cheese. And it's it's just, like, but that's what we do. We're gay, and that okay. religion hates you. Let's that no, is, that's what you spend your like, I haven't been in like a decade. This but is a happy remember. Christmas episode. Yeah. So. Is it? Anyway, so yeah, we eat a bunch of food. We open our presents and everything, and then the next morning is when we do like the stockings, and then yeah. we have a big lunch and a big dinner as well. Yeah. And you, Adam? Uh, same thing. Actually, we're really identical. I go home for Christmas Eve. I stay with my parents, and then my family all lives in Richmond, which is like a nearby suburb. We go that to you, you lived in the entire time that we've done the show. Except I for own a place right now, so <laughs> keep renting with your weird ex fiance who lives in your couch. And you brought a trick back home there this Saturday, and he met him on the way out. This is the Christmas episode. Merry Christmas. So. <laughs> We do the whole eating, Christmas Eve thing, just the whole family, and then my parents and I just do gifts the next morning. The next time, so. <laughs> have we even talked about the no. we're drinking for the very last? <laughs> oh, yeah. Do we have to lie? No, we're drinking juice. Drops. Juice. Spoils. Juice. We're drinking juice. juice. <laughs> I've had three. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a fun time with family, and we're done doing gifts, though. I have three siblings who all have I hate 17 gifts. kids and four ex wives. I can't even deal with it anymore. No, so just it. something for my parents. They give me an apartment, and we're good to go. So it's a fun time. All right, well, let's move on to today's topics. We're going to start with gossip. And first up, we have an interesting one. Justin Bieber is apparently hooking up with one of the Kardashians. And you probably assume that it's one of the younger ones, but it's actually the oldest one. This is so weird. How is this interesting, first of all? Start, because, stop there. Well, actually, I was, the site that we looked at when we found this yeah. gossip described this Kardashian as the stale old fashioned or the stale old fashioned plain donut of I died the when I read this. Yeah. I'm yeah. laughing like, so hard. Like, the best article I know. Ever. Like, I she is so boring. She's she is the most boring. It's Courtney, it's right? Courtney. Courtney. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> she's the most boring. She's a mom. She's got three kids. Mom's like, gonna be fun, but not her. No, it's just, I, I. This is such a weird. It's so bizarre. Weird pairing. She's <laughs> writing a book or something. Like this is all publicity. This is yeah. not. She's no. not banging Justin Bieber. I don't know. I mean, I she she's is. got a mom vagina. He's not going in there. He had Selena Gomez. Unless he's like going in. <laughs> <laughs> Dives <laughs> backstroke. Oh my god. No, um, no I, I don't. I don't know. He does. He's back with Selena Gomez right now as well. So who knows? But I mean, it's good. It's a good story. I mean, it got her name out in the paper again. And that's what this was. That's what it is. Yeah. Just it's so it. weird. Like, who wants to sleep with Justin Bieber anyway anymore? Like, you've seen it's fine. So we're over it. Yeah. And let's move on to our last topic of gossip. This is the Golden Globe nominations that just happened. Was there anything interesting for you guys? Um, uh, Room is going to take everything. I have is a it? Feeling. I think it's going to. I haven't seen well, it yet. Everything else is a period piece in that category. Mm. Anyway, all the women actresses are like from the 1970s. Real life story of just yeah. like blah. Yeah. For me, like, and I, I hate to go back to what this. This was a white ass nomination. Like there are like two. Let's just put it out there, like black and nothing else. People yeah. on this whole thing, it's like Idris and no one else. It's, yeah, I, I I don't know what they Golden Globes are good predictors for Emmys. They're Oscars. Oscars. Yeah, oh yeah, Oscars. they're yeah. good. They're good for know. the Oscars. They're pretty much the uh, the same thing. I okay. mean, there's a couple upsets, like the Viola Davis year when she lost to Meryl Streep. Okay, that was the upset. Um, but yeah, no, I'm I mean like the Golden Globes are just fun to watch because everyone's really drunk at the Golden Globe. So you oh, see okay. them wasted at their tables or like when they're doing their speeches. Like you have to, yeah, it's, it's all about the award yeah. show. It's about what's no, happening on like the table because everyone's on. wasted. It's so funny. Okay, well, Who's hosting fine. this year? Uh, Ricky Gervais? 
I want to really? say. Because this one's less <laughs> seat fillers in the crowd. It's like tables of fun yeah. people at dinner. You're like, yeah. oh, they're sitting with so and so, and they're okay. I, I totally. do like that. Yeah, yeah this one. We this have a one, This party, one's kind so. of fun. This one's always a mess. Like no one knows what to expect. So it's it's a good one. I like okay, this cool. one. Yep. All right. Well, that's all we have for gossip. When we come back, we're going to move on to music and check out some of the last few music videos that came out this year. Welcome back. We're moving on to music now. We're going to check out a video by The Weeknd. This one's called In the Night. And I know that she's capable of anything. It's riveting. But when you wake up, she's always gone, gone, gone. In the night, she hears it calling. In the night, she's dancing to relieve the pain. First of all, I hate artists that are like the something. <laughs> All of them. All of them. I just think it's ridiculous, right? But then I was looking closer. He doesn't even spell weekend properly. <laughs> and I just noticed this. There's no, no I, it wasn't a spelling mistake from my part. Oh, yeah. I don't know. That's how he assume. spells his name. So right away I'm irritated. Yes. Second of all, this video is over six minutes long? Oh, this is the thing. <sighs> These aren't short no, films. I just like... want the song. Just give me the song. Remember, I was like, I went into like a 90s rock vortex on YouTube the other day. Songs were two minutes and 50 seconds. As they should be. Have been. And it was like one after the other. I had a great day. <laughs> Anyways, um, I do kind of like the video. I like the song. I, for me, I think he's a great artist. He's Canadian. Yeah. yeah. He's doing really well. His stuff all kind of, it's, it's like formulaic. Like you know what yeah. it is, right? And you're never going to get anything bad from him. He's super talented, which I really like. Like he can actually sing, so... I'm into it, I guess. You're being too nice. Like, this whole, I like the Beyonce story thing, like, they're more interesting. Like, someone's getting murdered, someone's getting kidnapped, da da, da all that. Girl, this is the first <laughs> and last time we get drinks on this set. No, this is just, like, too much, like, oh, let's cut away, and it's gonna be fighting, and then, like, love, and yeah. mad, and anger. I'm like, I am not going to movie. I just want to see a music video. I just want to see the music video. Thank I don't you. have all day. But I do videos. like him. I like his talent. Yeah, he's And great. what do you think about him uh, with Bella Hadid, his girlfriend? Is that Gigi Hadid's that, sister? Like, yeah. I love the Hadids. <laughs> they are so fierce. Oh, this is like yeah. Yolanda's yes. other daughter? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, how young is she? I thought Yolanda was like the young, or no, Gigi was younger. Gigi's the youngest one, I think, right? They're very close in age. Oh, okay, well that's fine. No, they just seem all like young and blonde. I, I didn't even know they were dating. It's weird you even knew that, and I know you just looked it up to sound important. Well, no, I just, I watched the video and then there was information about it, so. Okay, well, pop-up video over here. <laughs> what you're about. For me, this is nothing I would ever watch again. I don't no. have that much time to waste. No. The song was fine. But yeah. I do agree with you. Like, I like that he's Canadian, that he's like on top of all the charts yeah. right now, so I support what he's doing yeah. for sure. Fair. Next up is a new one from Kylie Minogue, Just In Time For Christmas. This one's called Every Day Is Like Christmas. Thinking of all the storms we wear, the thanks for pulling me I mainly put this on for the guy in the video. Just in time for Krampus. <laughs> like, this is something that you should scare Eastern European with. This was bad. The video? It's, it, it was pretty the cheesy. The song wasn't even good either. I don't, I think the video ruined the song for you because her Christmas album is very cute. Yeah. I love Kylie Minogue. She's a legend. We she's all amazing. We all love Kylie we have Minogue. To. I no, we don't yes. have to, well. but she's amazing. But when I was watching this video, I was just like, what a waste. You know, like, why don't you make a video? Like, you, I don't think you've ever released an it original. It was kind of a throwaway song. video. It was a throwaway video. Yeah. Like, like that Scissor Sister thing she did or whatever with that guy. The Well, that was that, that was, was at least it was a bit a more video. effort in that. Yeah. This one was like, let's pretend to make a homemade movie and like Mariah Carey in 1990, and it was just bad. It failed. It was bad. Have it was you ever really watched the show Gallivant on the ABC show? Vaguely. So that's the guy in there is her boyfriend, and he was the guy who featured the video. This guy. No, I'm just gonna watch he one puts the, He puts the music videos on if there's like a, a glimpse of yeah. someone at <laughs> sort of attractive. Today I did that. Yeah, today he did that. <laughs> Good lord. Well, let's move on to movies then. First up is the latest Star Wars movie, The Force Awakens. Take a look. Nothing will stand in our way. I will finish what you started. There are stories about what happened. It's true. All of it. 
So wait, you haven't seen any of these, right? None of them? Yeah. Did I already know that? And I just we did, went... but like it was just shocking that I was like, I don't know if that's actually correct, but. It's true. The wow. nerdiest person of all Honestly, of our... yeah. seriously. I know, I missed the movie. And don't you do this like fan guys, like fake fan nerds Yeah, but uh, Dominic takes care of that side of it. So you're kind of like an imposter though. I feel no, like you have to know. I, I, like, I know of it. I've just never seen the movies. I have to like. They're there. You understand there was like some I finite know, experience. Forever, <laughs> like, I just, I feel like I need to start from the beginning and go through them all. And like, I want to see this. I don't yeah. want to miss this movement. And I feel like this is one of those things that I'm going to latch on and be like, oh my God, what took me so long? Blah, yes. Blah, blah, oh, blah. absolutely. After, Are se you after seeing this trailer, I actually kind of want to go back and watch all of the old ones again. Okay, I'm going to go back. I'm going to say, you're not going to be like, Oh wow, this is what I missed yeah. the whole time. No, they're good. They're fine. They're interesting. Yeah. But like, you're not gonna die over because I know what you like, and this isn't that. This movie does look interesting, though. Yeah. I will say that I like finally the diversity that they're doing in the universe. And there was some interview, and JJ Abrams is like, "I want the world of Star Wars to represent what I see in Earth today." I'm like, "Well, that has nothing to do with like the universe that doesn't exist." <laughs> but calm down. You hired a black guy, and that's cool. Yeah. But Come even on. then, like, it's it's not so often that this type of movie, like, you have the original cast, and it's like a story continues on. And you know, they I did the work that. to pull in yeah. the back. And, you know why? Because they're selling a billion, million, kajillion tickets right now, and people are lining up for 14 days, yeah. getting frostbite in LA right now. It's like it's nuts, but. I don't care that much about it. Like, I'm excited to see it. I feel like it's gonna like for. I mean, for me, if I even ever watch these movies, it's it gonna will. be like a later, a slow roast. <laughs> I'll wait until it's like a month out and then probably go see it. But yeah, I mean, I just I've never really been drawn to these movies. Well, you watch the trailer. So what do you, like, is that interesting at all or no? Uh, okay. It starts to understand without knowing the backstory because yeah. a lot of it is well, all like, you, uh, I'm you doing know this. the backstory just yeah. from pop culture. Like okay. you know that he's his father and this and that and a star and kissing his sister, whatever. He's like his you know. <laughs> what? <laughs> Spoiler alert. You know all oh, that, man. right? So like you kind of, I know the, of the storyline, but like I just have never seen it. Okay. No, yeah, it's weird. All right. right, well also coming out the same weekend is a new film from Amy Poehler and Tina Fey. This one's called Sisters. Get this dress. One of my apples keeps rolling out of the bag. But I like the story it tells with the fringe. Oh, here we go. Yes, I be a woman. I've been thinking. Why? Will you not drink tonight so I can let my freak flag fly? I would love to. Oh, who got the juice? Came the truth. I heard you were having a party from someone who got invited. It's pretty sad. It's a snazzy bell. Oh, thank you. Yeah, congrats on your wrestling championship. So, this is how I figure out going against Star Wars. Your boyfriend goes to this movie, and so you girl. go there. So, like, all the girls to yeah. this movie. So, at first, you think, what a stupid idea to release this on the same weekend as Star Wars. Right? However, it's actually genius. Yeah. Because these are the only two movies coming out, yeah. and you're either going to go see Star Wars, or you're going to go see Sisters. I am concerned. I have concerns. Because when these two are together in movies, like, I didn't think Baby Mama was Oh, there. my God. It was so funny. Baby Mama was hilarious. <laughs> you were the worst person. We loved it. That is your goddamn best right I now. don't think it was that fun. I mean, of course you would love it. You're simple-minded. Like, <laughs> I just don't think it was that funny. I think they are so much funnier not scripted. Does that make sense? You talk to me behind here about telenovela being the funniest thing you've seen oh on God, television right so now for about right 10 now. minutes. So I am not funny. taking crap from you. No, and that's, and that's fine, good. but like, I, I hope this movie is great. I hope it's hilarious. I love the two of them. I just have concerns. That's all. I will jump in. The things I think will be funny is that they're like 90s children. Like, they're talking about like, oh, let's go clean up our room and we're gonna find like pogs or slinkies. Yeah. Whatever the f it is. Like, it'll be a funny movie. And I think you just have to relax. I'll enjoy go see it. Ride. I will definitely go see it and enjoy it, hopefully. But like, I have concerns. And I like they, they keep their SNL crew together. They Maya do. Rudolph and, and Bobby really Moynihan. Yeah. See, Maya I think Rudolph Maya Rudolph, Rudolph is the funniest out of all of them. Yeah. And I'm, I'm not against that with yeah. her like, Wrestling, getting yeah. real, like, winning trophy. It's just enjoy. Don't put too much stress on them. Just I'm enjoy not, the ride. Okay. I'll yeah. If you're not gonna watch Star Wars, you're gonna be at Sisters because you're not gonna be at Star Wars. Yeah. So you have to be at your boyfriend's place. Wow. We all know that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's right. move on to the next film. This one's the latest for Jennifer Lawrence. It's called Joy. As you grow up and come into the world that has all sorts of things in it, money, crime, betrayal, seems like you're shaking us down. You can pay more. I can't. And I won't. And you realize that the only thing you're gonna have is what you make. But never shone on me. You are in a room, and there is a gun on the table. I want my life to be. The only other person in the room is an adversary in commerce. Only one of you can prevail. Do you pick up the gun, Joy? I pick up the gun. I had to look this one up. So, like, the 
The trailer looks very engrossing and very interesting, but I didn't understand if like I thought it was a reincarnation thing and she was keep doing her life over and over again. Oh, like it looks Groundhog like it's a different Day? stuff. Well, as it's, I understand, it's four it, different generations, and I didn't get that. I thought she kept redoing like different versions of herself. Oh, I totally missed that. Yeah. yeah. So no, no, that's not what it is. You have yeah. to look it up, and it's the four generations of the woman who invented like mop glow or something ridiculous. Mm. I think, and I only have a little bit of interpretation for this, I think Jennifer Lawrence is amazing for this. I think she's so great as an actress, and you just care about her. So no matter what she does, you care. And it's another Jennifer Lawrence, Bradley Cooper. I hate yeah. that, though. Actually, that, that bothers crazy. me, too. I'm Thank like, you. Why? Yeah, it's, it's just like, why? It. Come on. I don't know. Over and over and over again. Money to a bunch. Money, like she needs more awards, money. it makes the studio everything. They're a great pair, they're cute, they're really hot right now, so like, why not put them It's gonna be like a whole collection of them. I know, <laughs> it's like the James Bond set of 42 Mizzy, the Bradley Cooper and Jenman set. Like, so what, you're excited? Or? Yeah, okay. I saw the trailer for this. Yeah, I'm, I'm, ex I'm excited to go see it. I think this is gonna be the Christmas Day movie, so. I'm this might be, yeah, like, you I know what, it's I gonna be the Christmas that. Day movie. Yeah, yeah fair enough. I'm into it. That's all we have for movies. When we come back, we're gonna move on to TV. <laughs> Can you hold down the fort while I'm gone? You're just gonna leave me alone with these animals? You leave them with me, but that's our deal. You know what you were getting into when you let me get into you? Gross! Kids, don't bother your mom today. She's busy with the little hobby. It's a job. Yes, fine, a job. I'll make dinner. Salisbury steak or pork medley? Oh, not that shit again. What was that? Yummy! Hey, grab me a cold one out of the cooler. You're up, little man, hold the wheel. Jeez, I wish I had me for a dad. Welcome back, we're moving on to TV now, and that was just a clip from a new show on Netflix called F is for Family. I feel like this is something you're gonna watch. You know what, I hated it at the beginning. Mm. I'm like, oh, some again, you know me and my period pieces. But then like, is it Bill Pullmar? I don't even know who it is, Bill Burr. Bill Burr, yeah. He gets like super aggressive, and like angry, yelling, swearing, crazy. Swe that's, that's the thing, that's <laughs> I was like, oh, another Netflix cartoon, and then I heard the F word, and I was like, oh? I'm gonna <laughs> put your head through that yeah, door, I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm into it. Because it's like, Actually, kind of what the 70s were like, and I'm sure they're a little bit more aggressive, but yeah, dads did whatever they want, and moms were supposed to do this, and kids shut up, like. Oh yeah, like, uh, I mean, definitely. Like, you're a kid of the 70s, you're from the 50s. Okay, I, I was just waiting for that. <laughs> Aren't I the youngest? Uh, look at your sweater. No, I'm the youngest. <laughs> um, uh, no, I think I think this is gonna be, I mean, it's on Netflix. The only There's only six episodes, though. So far. Oh. That is short. I didn't know yeah. that. That doesn't Ugh, bode well. well. <laughs> but we love Netflix. And yeah. I will do it. Like, whatever. It's like an afternoon. Yeah. Okay, well, let's move on to the next show. It's another one from Netflix. This one's called Making of a Murderer. Do we have a body or anything yet? I don't believe so. We have Stephen Avery in custody, though. Are you kidding me? The disappearance of Teresa Halbach remains a mystery. Mr. Avery's blood is found inside of Teresa Halbach's vehicle. Steve, everybody's listening. What do you want to say today? I'm innocent. If convicted, Steve Avery will spend the rest of his life in prison. And we found a key. That key was scrubbed and his DNA was placed on it. You know I put this in for... Oh yeah, like, I'll definitely be watching So I it. thought it was like a show of like, to make, like I thought it was fictional. Okay. But then I realized it actually happened. Yeah. And then I realized it's like a Netflix actually happened. Yeah. I'm like, you guys are like I on love board. a Netflix This is like the Jinx. The Jinx from earlier this year. Remember that? No. I love a Netflix documentary. Do you remember that? <laughs> well, but the Robert Dirt story? I'm still kind of listening to Tommy. Oh my voice. god. So, um, you guys are the worst. Careful, you Mr. Coaster. <laughs> Uh, no, okay, so I don't I didn't know about this guy and just watching this, are you done? Continue. Wow. <laughs> um it, this looks terrifying to it me. Does. Like it looks really, really, really scary. And also like how lame is like he was he was sent to jail for oh, I screwed over. Speak. I'm he totally was sent to jail drunk. for murdering that like rich white woman and went back to jail for doing the exact same thing again. No, no, yeah, like, but thinks. he but he was the first one was wrong. Like yeah. they didn't yeah. have any evidence. He or so we think. Don't ruin the second one for me because I don't know how this turns out. So this don't put this huh? to be like the thirty. Well, well it was part of the same trailer. I know, but I didn't watch the end about like if he is guilty or not. It doesn't tell you. Girl, okay. It happened Relax. Like, ten years ago. That's what you're saying. I don't want to know the actual end of this story. Like, let me be surprised. But it happened. I don't know I, what happened. I'm with I him don't... though. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait and look it up later or uh, not look it up, I mean, but I'm gonna watch it and it's ten episodes, so I don't wanna be spoiled. It either. was in the trailer! No. I didn't know they don't say all the I mean it pr they pretty much allude yes, to they it. Do. They pretty much allude to it. Oh god, you people are so <laughs> Go on to the next one. Okay, the next one is season two of Transparent. You are all monsters. That's a tad dramatic. Are you drunk? I want to 
come by. I want to see Mom. Don't you dare. You let that woman get off this planet without knowing about this. I'm out there. I'm living. I mean, it's a mess. Everything's blowing up. You've got to figure out who you are. I'm trying to do the right thing. Yes, queen. Yes, queen. Yes. Yes, queen. Okay, let's not, can we not do that anymore? Have you guys started watching? You, I know. Did you finish the first season? No, I didn't even watch, I've no. never watched the show. Are I, you insane? I got like I three episodes kind of into the first one. And you stopped. I'm like that with every show. You know that about me. But I, there was nothing wrong with it. I just have a lot of other things to do than to Guys, watch. <laughs> going out, wearing yeah. better sweaters. None of those things are true. You're you, so what's your excuse? <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming you can't yourself none. in a mirror right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Keep talking. The show is amazing. Jeffrey Tambor almost like carried this entire thing. Almost won every single f award. It's now started again. It is hilarious. It's about this like crazy Jewish LA family who has everything going well for them. And I'm going through this. <laughs> right now I'm going through this. And still they have all these issues because this like one trans wrench was thrown into their goddamn sink and it screws up everything. But it's a really good show. It's really important. You don't even know why yes, 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 okay. I don't care. Oh, it was so funny and I can't believe you missed it. It's so good. Anyways, go ahead. Okay. I'm assuming um, it's in that last glass of cranberry vodka. Oh, that, God. But that was the funniest thing I've ever seen. I will recommend okay. everyone out there to watch this okay, show. Okay, what about Judith Light? I saw she was in this. She, now. So, so does she have an orgasm in a bathtub? Yeah, I read that yeah. too. She was in it since the first season. Oh, well, she didn't come in until after Does she I have an orgasm in the bathtub in the first season? Okay, we need to move on. <laughs> this is not going well. The show is very interesting. I do want, I do want to watch the show. I mean, it's, it's supposed to be, it's critically acclaimed. It's, it's supposed to be so, so, so good. It's on my list. I just, I don't know why I've never watched it. It's just not. On my radar. One I don't know cool why. thing I will say is also it's one of those Amazon shows. Remember we talked about this before? Yep. They like paid all these pilots and saw what took off. Like <laughs> <I'm sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> it's something about my hair. I'm sure it's about my hair. Fine. Let's just keep it's going. It's not even <laughs> about your hair. The point is, I'm glad that there's other networks that are bringing in new shows. It's not yeah. just like NBC was doing this, or even now Netflix. Well, it's other it's it's other like it's options, other streaming internet, services. All that yeah, kind of and stuff. that's I mean even just judging from just judging from our TV stuff, it's like we're barely talking about networks anymore. No. <laughs> Because that's not people are watching. So like we're enjoying the spread of eagle, and you're just killing me. Nothing is funny. I don't even know. What's funny. Move on to case. Move on to case. No, it's move. really hot. I just think that's ridiculous. If you're willing to give like Caitlyn Jenner show some time, like give something that's good true. at a point in That's true. I'll, I'll tell and in terms of like gay stuff going on, I know you wanted to bring something up about like gay TV memes or commercials right now. Okay. Let's see where this goes. No, you're this, actually watching this. Yes, yeah, this is an online commercial out of the UK, and let's take a look. Hi, my name's Marcus. I work at Robert Dice and I'm gay. I like going out with my friends and playing volleyball. I also like showing our gay and straight customers a funky range of our Christmas gifts. Hi, my name is James. I'm straight and I work at Robert Dice. I like sailing, baking,